Holly Sibilia, Mario Sacco with you, and uh, going to skip all the rigmarole we normally start with and get right into a, a Major League Baseball player joining us right now, Josiah Gray, newest member of the LA Dodgers, former Lemoyne pitcher, going to sit down here with Mario, and uh, I hope this works. Technically, I apologize <laughs> if it doesn't, but here we go. Mario, take her away. Josiah, good to see you again. Uh, that's coming from a San Diego Padres fan, by the way. So I don't want to, you know, he, he doesn't have to do the interview. We're going to do it. Uh, first off, congrats on making your major league debut. What's that moment like for you, bud? I appreciate it. Uh, the moment is everything you dreamed of and more. Uh, I've always dreamed of and more. Uh, it's something you think about as a kid, but once you step in those cleats and you walk there, walk out there on the field, you know, it's a whole different ball game and, you know, you just think about it all the time and man, words really can't describe it, but uh, it was a lot of fun and, and I'm glad I got to experience that a few days ago. Uh, that was something that you know, I'll never forget. How difficult a year has this been for you? You started May 1st and everyone thought maybe you know, in a couple of weeks you'd be up on, on the big league squad and, and you're out and not pitching until uh, two weeks ago. What, what's what been the problem and, and is everything all right as you move forward now? Yeah, yeah. So this year started out uh, great. You know, made my first start in AAA and went five innings. Great, uh, great outing. And then, you know, I was just really sore after and really never recovered from it. So it wound up being a shoulder impingement. So basically uh, tight shoulder muscles and things weren't firing the right way. So, yeah, I went on the shelf for about two months with rest and rehab and light throwing, bullpens, everything, you name it. Uh, but you So that's kind of the mentality I went with after the injury and, uh, you know, said that I'll be an asset to this team when I'm healthy and good to go. And here I am, uh, you know, two days after my major league debut and, you know, healthy and an asset to the team. So that's all I wanted for uh, coming back from the injury. And that's all I could have asked for. I'm sure everything was a blur to you that day, but what have the last 24 hours been like? Has your phone been blown up? Uh, annoying sports reporter from Syracuse, uh, annoying you every two seconds. But uh, what are you going to take from, from that moment? And you're a kid coming from the state of New York and, and pitching at Dodger Stadium. Yeah, uh, I've heard from a lot of different people over the last few days, and I'm still running through messages and requests uh, as of this morning. So uh, my phone's probably never going <clears> to <throat> never going to be uh, quiet again, which I guess comes with the territory. But yeah, coming from New York and pitching at Dodger Stadium for my major league debut is something that you never really think about. But as I progress through the Dodgers minor league system, you know, I always thought about, man, that day I get to pitch at Dodger Stadium, whether it's my debut or not, uh, is going to be awesome. And especially this this series that we're in right now against San Francisco, you know, a tightly contested series and, you know, uh, team one and two uh, in the league uh, going at it. And, you know, it doesn't get any better than that. So to go out there and, you know, put up some decent results uh, is really uh, exciting for me. And I'm sure the organization shares that sentiment and that they're excited for future things to come. Talking with Josiah Gray, LA Dodgers, uh, number one pitching prospect, made his major league debut uh, a couple of days ago. Josiah, when you look back at your time at LeMoyne and how that prepared you, uh, how did that prepare you for the next step? We see not only you, Ryan Murphy, also in the uh, San Francisco organization. How did LeMoyne get you ready to, to be a professional baseball player? I think uh, my sophomore year, uh, going out there and, and struggling as a shortstop really prepared me uh, a lot better than, you know, any of the su success I had on the mound would have, uh, you know, because I know my sophomore year, uh, I was slated for that starting shortstop spot and I put a lot of time in, a lot of work in, and, you know, things just didn't work out for me uh, at the plate and then in the field and whatever you have it, but obviously that worked out on the mound, but, you know, just kind of, 
thinking about back on that and and kind of just going through those struggles and kind of enduring those while still being able to come out on top um, in another asset of my baseball game uh, kind of just preparing me to be able to deal with like that failure or that um, you know feeling like you let yourself down in one part of <clears throat> whatever the game may offer but then you know rising up with another part and and kind of just hanging tough and kind of just knowing that the game will reward you in weird ways. So kind of just thinking about that and, and, and just, you know, having the mentality to go out there and, and give it my all, no matter what, if I'm failing or succeeding. So my sophomore year really, really helped with preparing me for uh, the professional baseball life. As viewers may not know, you, you actually got drafted in Cincinnati organization before uh, being traded to the L.A. Dodgers. All right, you're, you're at Dodger Stadium. What was some advice maybe uh, the guys gave you uh, as you got there for be from maybe Bellinger or, or Kershaw or, or down the line? Yeah, um, kind of just simple advice. You know, I talked with David Price and Bueller and uh, any anyone I saw throughout the day because they obviously knew I was making my debut. They kind of just said, you know, soak it all in and just go out there and control the strike zone. You know, the, the thing is with up here, you know, guys are going to control the counts better than they will at the minor league levels. And hitters counts, you know, they're going to try and get you. Um, leverage counts, they'll try and get you. So as long as you can control those, you'll have some success. Um, and that's kind of what I saw, you know. Uh, with the two home runs I gave up, two of them are on OO pitches. Obviously, you don't expect that, but that's kind of just the new uh, – that's something I'll have to adjust to being at this level. You know, you can't make that perfect pitch um, OO because, you know, they're ready to hit it as opposed to other minor league levels. They might not uh, want to hit that pitch. Um, so, yeah, just, just soaking in, uh, soaking it all in and just learning the hitters better but try not to overthink and knowing that the nerves will be there, but you, you just have to kind of accept them and let them uh, kind of take a backseat to your ability and your, your confidence and going out, out there. So that's kind of what I did. And, you know, I had some good results and I had some things that I'm, that I'm happy with, uh, but also things I want to work on and, and things that I'm excited for and to look forward to in the next outing. In the thick of a pennant race, uh, doing it, coming up and getting called uh, on. You touched on San Francisco. You're, you're, you're fighting with them. San Diego's nipping on everyone's heels. Uh, probably the toughest division in baseball, to be honest with you, with, with the three teams right there. What's that like jumping right in and knowing I'm in the thick of a pennant race, and if I want to keep my job, you know, I, I got to pitch well against the top three teams uh, out of the top ten teams in Major League Baseball? Yeah, you said it. It's definitely going to be tough. It's definitely going to be something that I have to get used to because, you know, minor league baseball obviously prepares you on the field, but you don't really think about, you know, standings and, and pennant races in minor league baseball. Unfortunately, that's kind of just the nature of the beast uh, with minor league baseball. But <clears throat> now being, uh, you know, in the big leagues, that's something you have to think about every day, you know, think about gaining games and losing games. So, I'm going to continue to adjust with the, the kind of the uh, spirit of that uh, and just knowing that every pitch matters and every out matters. So whether in their eyes, you know, I have to just make sure that I'm prepared every pitch and prepared to get every out that I'm called to get because, you know, they all matter. And, you know, we're trying to win the pennant. We're trying to win the division and we're trying to, you know, head off into a good uh, roll into the playoffs and make sure that we're the best team we can be. You got to experience that that championship last year, holding the trophy as the Dodgers won it all. For you, from minors to major leagues, any lifestyle changes that you have to make, knowing that probably, what, for the next three months, you're going to be living uh, out of your suitcase, so to say? Uh, yeah, uh, that's kind of just the nature of it. Uh, but no, no, no real lifestyle changes, honestly, just trying to do uh, stay prepared, trying to wake up a little bit earlier, because I know once I get to the ballpark, things are really hectic. Um, so just trying to wake up a little bit earlier, because I want to slightly enjoy my morning, feel like a normal person before I head into uh, the ballpark. And then, you know, once we get back from the field, you know, I'm pretty tired. But 
other than that, no real lifestyle changes. Just trying to enjoy the game, enjoy uh, everything that I got going on because, you know, this is something that everyone dreams of. I told you I wouldn't keep you any more than 10 minutes. I'm going to try and stick to that. If you could give advice to a, to a young kid, uh, maybe in the New Rochelle area, uh, you know, where you grew up or, or, you know, that has aspirations, what advice would you give them? I would say uh, keep all your options open and, and make sure you're prepared. Make sure you're working hard and someone will, will notice you. Someone will give you a chance. So uh, those are the things I got because without Coach Cassie at LeMoyne and, you know, my high school coaches, I truly wouldn't be here today. Uh, you know, obviously I thought I had the ability to play at the Division One level, but that obviously never came true. And Coach Cassidy basically took a chance on a kid he saw once to come up and impact the LeMoyne college baseball team. And I was lucky enough to do that in my three years there. So, you know, coaches will always realize whether it's uh, sooner or later, or whatever it may be, but continue to work hard, continue to go out there and know that you're giving the game all you have to offer because that's, that's what I've done up to this date. And that's what I'll continue to do. And I think that's going to propel me to having a, uh, a long major league career and you know that for some kid in New Rochelle or Syracuse area you know they may not be able to attain that major league status but you know that might get them to play college baseball that might get them to get into the minors get drafted uh, you know those things kind of have a weird way of working themselves out. so so hard and Josiah, uh, next schedule, are they going to have you scheduled to start on, on Sunday? Will that be your uh, first start, so to say? Yeah, so it's looking like Sunday uh, I'll be starting. Um, not sure if there's an opener, um, if there is. Yeah. Well, man, I, I appreciate the time. Uh, I, I promise not to bother you too much, but uh, go keep doing what you've been doing. And as uh, all of Central New York, we'll be back here rooting for you. I appreciate it, Josiah. Well, uh, I think it froze a little bit. I was just saying thank you very much for your time, man. Uh, always a pleasure. and. and Everyone here in Central New York is going to be rooting for you. Thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Take care, Josiah. Thank you. Thank you, Josiah Drew, Mario Sacco. And uh, as a